Okay, we decided to come up with a new series, which is what's Luba teaching Ukrainian women about dating? And we're gonna talk about all the ridiculous things that they do. So if you like that, subscribe to this channel. Now, at the moment, uh, where do we start with you, woman? <laughs> no, it's like uh, this video, I don't know how often it will be because like I educate the ladies and it's something new that like I was struggling with to start, but since this June I've, I've done. And so every day, like every week, like I do different videos for them. And to be honest, like since I started, we didn't move really further from like profile, uh, pictures, uh, self-presentation, uh, first date and questions because every time I want to move on, like it's like if they're like children, can you tell us more, can it? And I decided I will not do like like little topics i will better go deeper in, inside each so they understand because even photos like even when we started with photos i uh. thought that with ladies there are going to be no problems but there's I problems oh there's problems we have uh we actually have another side to her rocket which is uh, the woman and this side of it is for women who want to apply to be part of heart rocket so it, it's different from what, what you guys see and Luba, and the, the, the way they find us is Luba's been doing a lot of podcasting with other influencers, interviews, interviews and some, with some coaches and stuff like that. And so they, they find us through that. And they come through and then they fill out a form as an application form. And um, I CC myself into all of the um, profiles that come through. I was thinking why they're your, like, yeah, yeah. are you? Yeah, 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 yeah. I got to check this out. And so I get, I'm shocked I by know. some of the photos that, uh, that, these women, that these women send through. Yeah, unfortunately, the ladies, so I will explain. Uh, ladies are very emotional, of course, you know, they're clueless, everything I understand, I, I have to admit it. I'm, I'm different, but everybody else. But uh, anyway, yeah. the ladies usually send the pictures, and to be honest, I see that in the guys as well. They send the picture where they like themselves. So maybe there is some emotion that they was feeling that particular day, or they think that they look good. Even the guys, when I ask them to do the photo session, they send me like three, four pictures that they choose. And then I say, okay, wonderful pictures. Can you please send me the link from the photographer? And I will choose the pictures that I like. And I usually choose a little bit different ones. And that is okay. We, but we all like, everybody has their like size that they like, that they don't, uh, and they pick something else. The ladies the same. We have one lady, like she sent me 30 pictures, so I picked different, but she sent me very strange photo and I said, I'm sorry, but I'm just curious because I try to understand their psychology. Why do you send me this, why did you send me this picture? And she said, no, but you know, I just remember, I saw, I saw like a wonderful sunset. I was so happy and I took a selfie. And the selfie was like, her forehead was like this. It was like horrible photo, but she felt good. She felt good on this picture. Or ladies send me pictures like somewhere over there, they stay near the Eiffel Tower or Coliseum and like we can't even see them. And Stryker's favorite one. Ah, oh, the, 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 the roses, the big, the big bunch of 100 roses. It's, uh, yeah, it's not really appropriate. And the, the reason is because they don't understand what message you're trying to portray. The message of a big bunch of roses for a guy says that, okay, so, I have to do the same thing to be on the same uh, par as that. Um, and he also understands that after those roses were received, one thing would have led to another, right? Okay, the man's not giving it for no reason. He knows that, you know, she might as well be holding up a used condom packet. Um, Striker. To, uh, to show what was happening that night, right? So, and, and here is the problem that these women have, is that they don't understand what, they are, what a man is looking for. A man would be much more happy to see her you know, with baking a cake. <laughs> you know what? No, I have one That's lady. That's true. I have then, one then lady a bunch in of France, roses. and and she was sending me pictures, and I said, and she's a uh, con, uh, how you condom call it? no. <laughs> What's condom, happening with you today? Like all day. Woman? Like what's happening? Uh, <laughs> Sorry. <I don't, laughs> what? Realize this was off topic. <laughs> to, a cake. Who is making cakes? Baker. Con, okay. <laughs> Uh, so, cake maker. Cake maker. So she's in France and I said, can you send me a picture with you, like with a cake? Because this is what attracted. They don't understand it. Like, and I said, can you send with your hobby, with your, like this and this. And so with the flowers, it's funny, like honestly, because I know how you guys see that and I know what is actually happening. So one lady sent me recently, and again, I asked them question, like I spent so much time on that because I want to understand why did you send me this? And of course, because she's happy, it's her birthday, it's her like co-workers, like hundreds of them gave it to her, so it's not like one man, but we don't know that. Or they send picture in front of the mirror, it's a tricky one, they send, and so, in the ref so it's actually not such a big bouquet, but in the reflection, they make it look like it's twice bigger. 
Mm, special I'm, effects. <laughs> But but for lady, it's like she just wouldn't like it's so important for her that like for Ukrainian lady flowers are so important. It's hard, hard to underestimate it. So that's why they do it. Then, can I just say here too, those photos that you're talking about, they, they get validation from other women when they post those on say Instagram. Of or something. course, everybody. And I remember. And that's why they use it because they don't understand. It's like, well, it must be good because everyone's saying how beautiful and lovely that they are. So maybe I'll use it as a part of a dating profile. But remember when I told you about uh, the lady who just like they, she was sitting at the restaurant with her friend, with her girlfriend. They bought one rose. They gave like the guy was walking with this like oh, yeah. sending one, and then she gave him twenty euros, but the price was ten. And he said, "Oh, like I will, I will be back. I need some change." And so he left. And while he left, like she took a picture, and I saw that online, and I asked her, I said, "Hmm, so anyone?" And she said, "Do you want to know the real history of the picture?" So it was just like it was not even there. Did you say that in a heavy Russian accent? Heavy, very, very, very heavy. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so that is what we're dealing with. And uh, some pictures are shocking. And thanks God that we have Vika because, like, I just realized that my nervous system. Vika's our filter. Our filter, she's like our it's coffee our filter. Manager, so it's CC to striker, CC to her, and uh, then she's dealing with that. But, but I will explain you one thing. For example, one lady. She sent like horrible pictures. She didn't send passports. So Vika was waiting for two weeks and then she messaged her back and she said like, girl, I told you, I will send you better. I will send you later. I'll send you later. Uh, and she blocked Vika and she banned her from Telegram. So for two days, Vika can't text anyone. So obviously lovely. What a, lo I think, what a lovely woman. <laughs> I think that this is better, but like this anybody, is better. Anybody want, any, we can... Yeah, I can give you, if you want to be banned. That's a freebie. Yeah, so um, that is better qualification, I think, than any, any, anything else. <laughs> and um, yeah, and also like we, after working for so many years with different websites in the past, I saw that the biggest struggle is that the guys open the profile and it has like three phrases. I like traveling, I like reading, poetry. I like... <laughs> poetry. This it's is, a, a, this is un unusual. That's an so. old one. That, that's like from the 90s. I don't know. I like but, to read poetry. Uh, so, and we realized that this is a problem because when you ask question, describe your hobbies, people write this couple of words and that's it. So uh, yeah. we came to an idea to spread their profile that caused a lot of problems, to be honest. So I have to, I invited like a, also another relationship coach, a man, uh, who was able in Russian describe to the ladies, like what uh, do they need to put there and how, what is the best way to describe? Because a lot of people struggle what to answer. But we asking in our profiles now a little bit deeper questions than just like your hobby. We're asking about ideal holidays, ideal like weekends. Uh, what are they proud of? What are they strong and positive side? We ask them about like, what are their expectations of a relationship? What kind of qualities they're attracted to <clears throat> that is super helpful for you guys? Uh, what, um, how do they solve conflict situation? This question Stryker mm. came up with because we understand that sometimes there is a conflict and the guys are frustrated how to solve it. She just shut the door or somebody is screaming, somebody crying, somebody this. And we believe that conflict help uh, to grow your relationship, but you know, to certain level. So sometimes you can just go to our website. Uh, how Marina is uh, solving the problem? Ah, okay. Uh, what about um, Julia? Ah, okay. <laughs> so you, you know? basically get like a little instruction manual, don't you? Yes. And you yeah. can just go and check what the issues are. Yes. And so uh, we also ask, you know, the role of the family and the friends because, like, it's important to know uh, for the first date, like, if they describe, for example, maybe there is no relationship with the family, maybe there is a good relationship. So it, it helps a lot. And uh, also, we have a funny question that people a little bit struggle and not always put it in profile for some reason people always put something bad um, what would you like men to know about you before the first date and I thought it would be something funny or something like interesting but people always like st like one lady write me wrote me yesterday I have a contact at lenses like he needs to know that so well, he does need to know that because why? well what if they fall out <laughs> so uh, that but every you know I was surprised um, but I'm very happy that the girls who are subscribing to me, who are watching me, who like following, like, and etc., they really want to know. And like when I do something, they ask me questions and they're very active and they mostly want to know about the mentality and cultural differences. This is so far is the biggest difference for them. And we've done the video for you guys about finances and I will have to do it for them because there is a very big gap between cultural in discussion money on the West and in the Ukraine. And I need to describe that because no, it's nobody's fault, but f like it's it's not benefiting any uh, anyone that there is no there is yeah. lack of information. And I never heard anybody speak of that, never, because everybody either blame guys 
or they say that the girls are materialistic and they all, all gold diggers. But honestly, the truth is like in a golden middle. Yeah, the profiles on these dating websites, well, our one included, um, they've always been a real thorn in the side, right? And I've always, you know, I've always, I've always never really liked it, but no one really ever did anything to fix it, right? It was just, you know, five photos or six photos or whatever, and then the basics of about me. And it's like, I like uh, this, I like traveling, I like poetry for some reason. I don't know why people like poetry so much. Um, and no one's ever really thought to, hang on, this is like one of the most important points. This is like the, the, the where everything starts from the profile. And so we see it, we, well, we saw it as a problem, and it's something that we're going to try and fix within our company. Whenever we see, we, you know, people say, people think that we're matchmakers. That, that is part of it. But one thing that we think of ourselves as, within our company is that we solve problems when it comes to relationships or starting relationships. And we see this as a problem. And we're trying to think of a way in order to fix it to get better results and to get better matches. And this is a great start, but I also have some other ideas which um, I think can be pretty useful later on. I have to do? No, no, I'll, I'll, I'll build it and make something that's gonna make things, well, I don't know, maybe something interesting in the future. But for now, this is how we are doing it, and so yeah. It's, this uh, is the latest update, but I hope that next video we'll do, like we will move forward, we will move uh, off, profiles. off profiles, yeah, but for now we're discussing that because uh, ladies really need to know, but it's good, like I'm, I'm happy that they are so involved, Yeah. so so do you. So that's it, so that's uh, topic number one, what's Luba been teaching these women about dating?